Nityanandam, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. In this video, I want to share the click and the most powerful cognition I got about what is real, what is reality. So, um, initially, when I got drawn into this spiritual quest, uh, the quest of meditation, of enlightenment, which led me to Swamiji. Um, I will, you know, you hear about, you know, the purposes to experience the reality, what is real, what is not real, and how to be always in tune with what is real and not spend your lifetime and energy on things which are unreal because they're going to go and then that will just leave you in a form of unfulfillment. So this is the main click I got. So how can you, how can you say something is real, something is not real? Something that is real will always be there. Something that is not real is tem something temporary, cannot be considered as real because it is temporary. So that is why, uh, you know, sometimes you hear, you know, this life is, is not real, this life is, is a delusion. I mean, in a certain way, yes, it is a delusion because it is temporary. Everything we experience in this life is not lasting. There's only one thing uh, which, is, which is always there, which is real, and, uh, and I'll get to that in a bit. But everything that we experience, whether it is pain or pleasure, they're not real because sometimes we have pains and after that we don't, and then sometimes we have pleasures and then after that we don't. So how can you consider either of them real? So investing in either pain or pleasure is a bad investment because they're going to change. Investing or in, uh, in happiness and sorrows is also going to change because these states varies. As we go through ups and downs, we experience various types of emotions. And, um, and like that, investing in these emotions is vest investing in, uh, in sensory uh, experiences is not a good investment because at some point it will fail because it is not consistent, it is not real, it doesn't persist. So what is real? In your life, in the life that you experience, one thing is real. One thing is, I, I mentioned, I started to talk about it a little bit in one of the previous videos, the fearlessness one. Uh, one thing is always present in each moment, each situation you face, that is you. So you are always there. So in your life, you are real. But which part of you is real? Because even many things of you are constantly changing. So, and that's where I realized that what is real is the consciousness, which is experiencing everything that is experienced at every moment. That consciousness is real. And that is the Paramashiva. That is Paramashiva, the component of Paramashiva in us. That component is real. The rest is changing. So, everything that we do, we should always do it from the context of Paramashiva, so that we always remember and invest in the constant uh, of our life, which is the Paramashiva component, which is always available, never changing, cannot be touched, and everything. In the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Sri Krishna, he talks about the Atman, the soul, which I refer to the component of Paramashiva uh, here. And he says, you know, it cannot be cut by a sword, it cannot be burnt by fire, it cannot be dried by the wind, it cannot be made wet by the water. It is beyond all these things. And that is the reality. That is the forever unchanging reality. Everything else is a form of delusion because it changes. So that's why when you invest in your life, you should be clear like how much you invest where and why you're investing in that. If you're investing in body, from what context are you investing in body? Investing in body is not a problem because your body will allow that consciousness to uh, operate uh, to a certain extent. But you should invest from the right context with the right understanding like that you will not be bound by that investment. Same thing goes with emotions and with everything else. So the reality is something that is unchanging. Even in this universe, the only thing that is real is Paramashiva. Everything else changes, Paramashiva or Parashakti. Everything else changes. Um, and so always meditating on that, always contemplating on that, always remembering that in everything that we do, 
It helps us to remain stable in that space of Paramashivoham, the Paramashivatva experience. And when we are established in that space, then we are not experiencing unfulfillment in life. We are always in that space of fulfillment. No matter what situation we face, we have that fulfillment because we know what is real, what is not real, and we do not fall for the delusion which can be uh, you know, put in front of us by uh, Maya, which is which refers to that uh, the delusion. She doesn't come and create this whole illusion in front of you, which makes you forget the reality, which is the Paramashivoham component, um, the Paramashiva component, the Paramashivoham space. So, reality is very important. Always, you know, remembering, contemplating on what is real and aligning to that, and that is why. Uh, we need Guru. When you have Guru, when Swamiji initiates us, he, he awakens that component in us. After that, we can be clear without a doubt that we, uh, we have that component and we can align to it. Actually, one master was saying, uh, he was a Russian master, George Gurdjieff, and he was saying that everybody has a soul but when you do not realize you have a soul, it is equivalent to not having a soul. You having something but you not being aware you're having it is similar as not having it. So that is why, even though we all have it, until we get initiated and uh, we consciously decide to start to seek for it by, you know, uh, finding the Guru, by getting initiated by the Guru, it is as if you don't have it. Until that moment, you cannot consider you have it. And that is why aligning to the Guru is very important because when you start to in, engage with your inner space and you uh, start to complete your self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial, sometimes the SDHDs, self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denials, will be so strong that you will forget. But when you have a Guru, you cannot, you cannot um, justify that forgetfulness. You cannot say, oh, I forgot. No, Guru is there to remind you, so you cannot forget. So then like that, you cannot fall back. Until it becomes your full conscious experience, you cannot fall back to a previous state of unawareness. And, um, and that is why it is so important to have Guru in order to experience the real and re-associate uh, ourselves to that reality, to what we are, that pure consciousness, the Paramashiva component, Paramashiva in space. Um, so yeah, so that's what I want to share in this video. Let me know in the comments below what you feel about what is real, what is not real. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and check the description below. Become an Ishi Kaila Savasi, an online spiritual citizen of the greatest Hindu nation of Sri Kailasa, revived by my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shintyanda Paramashivam. Be updated, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Nityananda.